Hey guys, it's Angela. I am going to do a pour on a 12 by 12 canvas today. And I'm just going to do a straight up ring pour. I kind of want to do something simple today. And I got these new paints um, from Masters Touched. Masters Touch. <laughs> it is a pre-mixed acrylic pouring set. It was $15.99. You can use a coupon on these. I got it for half off or 40% off, half off. Either way, I spent about seven bucks on the set, which I didn't think was too bad for 16 ounces of paint and four pre-mixed paints. Uh, so the colors I got were turquoise, navy, powerful pink, and blue lava. Uh, the other thing that I thought was pretty cool is that each little container comes with a cup that has uh, pre-mixed measurements on it. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to actually see it or not, but it shows um, 100 mil, 75 mil, 50 mil, 25 mil. So I thought that was pretty cool. Each little bottle has its own little cup. So it's kind of neat. Little reusable cups as well as pre-mixed paint. So I'm not going to use the cups, though, to pour my paint into. Instead, I'm going to use my little Lily Veffy silicone bowl. Um, because I want to. <laughs> the premixed paints, if you haven't used premixed paints before, um, pretty much just straight out of the bottle. Um, I'm only going to take the lids off because... If you don't, sometimes you get a lot more air bubbles, and I just don't feel like dealing with air bubbles today. So I'm going to fill up my bowl. I'll probably speed up this process because this part might be kind of dull. Uh, 12 by 12 canvas. I need about six, seven ounces of paint. So I'm not going to quite fill the bowl, but yeah. So let's see what we get. made a really gorgeous purple where that uh, which color is this that blue lava and the powerful pink matched or touched really pretty I don't know should I wreck it guys what do you think should we wreck it should we keep it Just keep it. It's been a long time since I've just kind of kept a ring pour as a ring pour.
just want to show you a little up close. Of course, I had to like pour that one little spot off the canvas, but um, I'm surprised that this actually made some cells. I had seen, um, I think it was Mixed Media Girl did this. I don't think she got any cells with hers, so I'm a little surprised to get those cells, but it kept the lines really, really well, which is what I expected. Um, almost like cloudish right here, which is really cool. So I'm really interested to see how this dries. I'm I don't want to torch it because I don't I don't really want cells. Um, I mean, I don't mind that there are a few, but I don't want any more than that. So, um, let's see how it dries and yeah. I am not in the best setup at all to show, um, show off this piece, but, um, I just wanted to, uh, basically say that, uh, the paint dried pretty much exactly how it was when it was wet and um, the finish is not quite as glossy as the Artist Loft Ready Mixed um, but yet not quite as not quite as matte as the Arteza Ready Mixed so I'd say it's like a good mix in between um, but pretty much However you saw it last is what I was left with and but just to kind of show that gloss um, in, in a sense this is kind of the best light to show it in but um, yeah I, I'm really impressed. Um, I definitely want to try out a few more of those paints so um, if you have a chance to try those out I highly recommend. So. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.